Hello everyone, right here I have a 2022 Proda Alza 1.5H. And today I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So, here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. Press the unlock button once to unlock the driver's door and press it a second time to unlock the rest of the car. As you can see, the side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car, they automatically fold in. And upon unlocking, they automatically fold out again. Standard for the second generation Alza is Prodas version of a smart keyless entry and start system. So, just have the key form on yourself, the car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the ribbed area on the driver's side door handle. And to unlock the car, just press the ribbed area again. Like the unlock button on the key fob, press the ribbed area once to unlock the driver's door and press it a second time to unlock the rest of the car. Along with that smart keyless entry is a keyless push button start system. So to start Alza, make sure the key fob is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake and press the start button located right down here. The second generation Alza comes with a rack and pinion electric power steering system. The H and the AV trims get a leather-wrapped steering wheel with contrast stitching around the inner rim and sport grips at 10 and 2. The only transmission available for the Alza is a CVT. CVT or Continuously Variable Transmission is an automatic transmission with an infinite amount of gear ratios. CVT aims to provide drivers with a smoother ride and better fuel consumption when compared to a normal automatic transmission. This transmission features a sport mode and a manual shifting mode, the latter selected by using the gear lever. Another two standard features for the H trim are front and rear parking sensors and a reverse camera with guidance signs. Safety features in the Alza include 6 airbags, an anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force, distribution, brake assist, Vehicle Stability Control, Traction Control, Emergency Stop Signal, Hill Start Assist, an Alarm System, and an Immobilizer. Prodos Smart Drive Assist Safety Suite is present as well, and this one consists of Pre-Collision Warning, Pre-Collision Braking, Pedal Misoperation Control, Front Departure Alert, Lane Departure Warning, and Lane Departure Prevention. Isofix Child Seat Anchor Points are found on the outer two middle row seats. Present on the H and the AV trims are a set of 16-inch 5 twin-spoke two-tone alloy rims. The rims on this car are fitted with Toyo tyres Proxas CR1 1950R16 tyres. The X and the H trims come with ventilated disc brakes in front and drum brakes at the rear. For the suspension, all trims get McPherson struts up front and a torsion beam set up out back. Coming from the Spanish word for race, Alpha, Alza is the name given to Prodos first MPV. The B-segment vehicle was launched in November 2009. Based on the Dahatsu Boon Luminas Toyota Paso Sete Twins, the first generation Alza was in production until April 2022. In July 2022, Prodos debuted the second generation Alza. This new model is now part of a set of quadruplets which also include the first generation Toyota Veloz along with the third generation models of both the Toyota Avanza and the Daihatsu Xenia. As a result of this setup, the second generation Alza rides on the Daihatsu new Global Architecture B platform. The Alza also sports a slightly different exterior design when compared to its siblings. The biggest change with the Alza would be the lower right height with lesser ground clearance due to the suspension settings being more driver focused. 
Other differences include different headlights, a larger front grille, as well as different front and rear bumper designs. The interior design remains pretty much the same, with only trim, equipment, and safety features differentiating the Alza from its siblings. There are three Alza variants currently on sale, 1.5X CVT, 1.5H CVT, and 1.5AV CVT. This Alza is powered by the 2NR VE, 1.5 litre, dual over 8 cams, 16 valves, naturally aspirated inline 4 petrol engine. This engine features dual VVTI technology and multi point fuel injection. It produces 105 horsepower at 6000 rpm and 138 Nm of torque at 4200 rpm. The fuel tank size is 43 liters and the combined fuel consumption for the Alza 1.5 CVT is 4.5 liters per 100 kilometers. The Alza is a front wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of the Alza H include Automatic auto-leveling matrix LED reflector headlights, automatic high beams, LED front fog lights, LED sequential front indicators, LED indicators for the sides and the rear, LED rear lights, metallic silver front grille bars, black side mirrors, body colored door handles, chrome rear hatch trim, the spare tire under the rear of the car, and a single exhaust pipe. Speaker bottle holders, storage, mirror controls, window controls, all of the windows in this car are powered, while the driver's side is the only side that gets a full automatic function in both directions. Window lock, cup holder, automatic high beams, vehicle stability control, forward collision warning, parking sensors, and this button activates or deactivates the vehicle's automatic stop-start feature. If the feature is activated, the engine will momentarily shut off when you arrive at a stop, such as a traffic light or traffic jam to save that extra bit of petrol that the car uses. Storage. Pull the receiver to pop open the fuel door. And the driver's seat in this Alza H does get full manual adjustments. The receiver controls the seat back, the receiver controls the seat height, while this bar down here controls the seat position. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how it revs. Very simple manual digital air conditioning controls. Fan speed, 
off button, two memory functions, different modes, temperature, air conditioning, front and rear defrost, and recirculation. Below, storage, together with a USB-A port, central locking, The Alzheimer H and AV trims come with the Display Audio Touch Screen Head Unit. The system features a 9-inch infotainment display, various media connectivity options, and 6 speakers. The stock sound system that the Alza uses is actually not that bad. We are currently in the Bluetooth audio streaming menu with the current song playing information. Title, the artist and album will show up here if available. Song duration, you can play pause, go back a song, go for the song. And to the left, you can select your Bluetooth telephone keypad, look at your contacts, call lists, bring up your Bluetooth music menu, pair a device, delete, delete a device and whatnot and bring up your Bluetooth settings. To go back to the home page, hit the home button. Apart from Bluetooth, we can also select USB iPod, radio, smart link, HDMI, bring up your camera. Bring up your settings. Right here, system settings with the beep sound, security settings, background settings, and restore back to factory default. Under sound, you can set your equalizer, balance fader, and automatic sound levelizer settings. Display settings with your brightness. Language settings. Date and time. Your clock display. And that's about it for the settings menu. Apart from settings, you can also turn off the display right here. And bring up your clock menu. To the right, you have your voice control, power button, USB port, and HDMI port. front quarter windows and as shown earlier this car does have power folding side mirrors to fold the side mirrors in from the inside push this switch all the way left if the switch is all the way left that means the side mirrors are always folded in if the switch is all the way right that means the side mirrors are always folded out and if the switch is left on automatic that means the side mirrors will automatically fold in and fold out when you lock and unlock the car light and indicator controls Seek track, different media mode selection button, Bluetooth telephone control, your various drive modes, volume, and right here you have your multi information display controls. This one is for your voice control. Trip allows you to go between your mileage, trip A and trip B. Up and down goes between the different sub menus, left and right goes between the different main menus. Hit enter to select and hit return to go back. Right now, range, how long the automatic stop start feature has been running for since the last startup and how long it has been running for long term, your current and average fuel consumption, and back to the range. Next up, your driving assist menu, clock menu, display off, vehicle messages, and your settings menu with the display brightness, time and date, designs, Display settings, buzzer settings, notification date settings, 
vehicle settings, maintenance settings, your um, oil reset menu, and reset settings back to factory settings, and back to the range. Wiper controls, and the steering wheel in this car is tilt only. You adjust it using the lever right here. Storage, power outlet, front center armrest with storage down below. Manual dimming, rear view mirror, front reading lights, they also double up as your interior lights, and the sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror. So I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. Bottle holder, window control, speaker, storage, and to gain access to the last row of seats, pull the receiver, flip the seat back down, then flip the whole seat forward. I did set the middle row of seats to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is quite a lot of room to stretch out my feet underneath the middle row seats. As for leg room, I get about this much. And I get about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually not too bad back here. The seats are fairly nice and comfortable, and it is fairly spacious for a set of last row of seats. You can always adjust the position of the middle row seats to suit your needs. But, for the last row of seats, you have storage areas on either sides, power outlet for the right, and a bit of storage up here as well. Cabin light, rear fan speed control, and all of the rear aircon vents are right on the roof or the ceiling, if you will. Now for the middle row seats, you can adjust the angle of the seat back using the receiver, and you can adjust the position of the seats using this bar down here. This bar and the receiver adjusts the right seat and the middle seat, while the bar and the lever on that side adjusts the left seat. I did adjust the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. As mentioned earlier on, I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is quite a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. And I get about this much in terms of headroom. It is fairly spacious for the middle row seats as well. And again, as mentioned back in the last row of seats, you can always adjust the position of the middle row seats to suit your needs. But on the front seat backs, you get storage pockets together with cutouts that help with additional leg room. In the middle, a bit of storage together with a couple of USB-A ports.
rear center armrest. And right above, for both sides on the middle row, are grip handles. To open up the rear hatch, go towards the rear hatch itself and locate a touch pad beneath the product badge. Boot space in the Alza with all the seats in place is 137 litres. Fold the 50-50 split third row seat bags down by the straps on the sides of the third row seat headrests and the boot space increases to 498 litres. For even more space, the second row seat bags can be folded down as explained earlier. To the left of the boot is a light and a storage area. Under the boot floor is more storage along with the vehicle's jack, toolkit and warning triangle. Adjustable headrests for all rows of seats in this car. Window control. Speaker, bottle holders, storage, cup holder, and the front passenger seat in this car does get full manual adjustments as well, with the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side, just that this side loses out on the height adjustment. Nicely sized glove box. Grip handle for the front passenger. And the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle tour video of this 2022 Proda Alza 1.5 H. Thanks for watching and goodbye.